Hi yogis, it's Michelle. Thanks for tuning in. So if you practiced with me before at the Yoga Connection, the next flow we're gonna do, you've done it before, and it's honestly one of my favorite flows. If you haven't done it with me, don't worry. I'm gonna use my words very carefully. You listen very carefully, and it'll be fun. Just go with the flow. It's a flow class. If you're ready, let's get started in child's pose. Bringing your big toes together to touch and take this time to start to honor yourself and how you feel. So if you always come to the mat with your knees wide, but today you're just not feeling it, honor that. Let the arms come out in front of you or back by your feet and bring your forehead to the mat. Relax your face and jaw, separate your lips, relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And we'll use these next few moments, probably about three to four minutes, to just really start to ground, to let go of wherever it is we just came from and allow ourselves to begin the practice by connecting to our breath, connecting more to the sensations within, how you're feeling physically, how you feel emotionally and energetically. So just allow a few moments for you to check in with all of that. And breathe into it. This really is my favorite pose to start in for a number of reasons. One being all the physical benefits for the opening of the hips and relaxing of the low back. But more importantly, the breathing. I can really hone in on what it sounds like, what it feels like moving in and out of my nose or my mouth, wherever you are right now. And noticing how the breath feels moving in your body and what parts of the body initiate your breath. And to go a little deeper, that's where we start to add our ujjayi breathing, where we breathe in and out of the nose. And we create these audible sounds on and off our mat between our ears. Breathing in for about a count of three or four and exhaling for about a count of four or five. So you want your exhales to be elongated and all the way to empty. And sometimes it does help with ujjayi breathing to lightly press your tongue against the roof of your mouth, constricting the muscles in the very back of your throat. using this time to monitor your thoughts, to regulate your breath. And then we'll set an intention to keep our focus on our breathing. Making our breath the most important part of this practice and the most interesting. When you're ready, let's Stretch the arms out in front of you. Feeling yourself get longer through the sides of your waist. Feeling the arms activate as the arm bones lift away from the mat. Start to lift your torso up and walk your hands over to the right. And just hone in on that left side. So as we move through our class, we'll focus on individual areas in our body so we can start the cleansing process and the checking in process. Inhale in very slowly, moving your breath through the side of the waist, feeling those spaces between your ribs. 
breathing so deeply, you feel the skin on your bones stretching. And exhaling all the way to empty. Exhaling where you surrender, where you just let go and find acceptance. On your next inhale, walk it over to the other side. Notice when your mind starts to wander. That's when you go back to your intention, your centering thought. Reminding yourself to breathe. Inhale in, feeling the length. Exhale out and finding surrender, acceptance, and a sense of letting go. We so often come onto our mat and we think we're here, but mentally we're really not here. So just keep checking in, make sure you're here on your mat and in your practice. Bring it back to center when you're ready. We'll take a deep breath in here together. Open up your mouth and say, ah. And on your next inhale, lift yourself up to all fours. Line up the creases of your wrist, elbows, and shoulders. Stack your hips over your knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Place the tops of your feet down and start to wave your spine and cat cows. Inhale as you arch your back with your shoulders pulling back. Guide your heart forward and your gaze up. On an exhale, push down and away from the earth, rounding your spine, drawing your tailbone to the backs of your knees and your navel up and in. When you're empty of the air, inhale, move back into your cow, breathing in as much as you can. And when you're ready, exhale, round and curl. When we get to these places, feel free to move at your own pace. On your next cow pose, tuck your toes. Walking the toes in without moving your knees, just to get all 10 toes stretched. Exhale, you can stay with tuck toes or flip back to the tops of your feet. And then when you're ready, start to circle around your mat, inhaling to the right, moving your hips back to your heels, and then exhale your hips to the left, drawing your heart forward. When you get an opportunity, close your eyes, hone in a little deeper on your breath, reverse your direction. If your eyes are open in your practice, find something for your eyes to rest on. Laser beam focus. Whether you're on your mat or off your mat, when our eyes move all over the place, so is the mind. And then the breath becomes short and choppy. Bring it back to center and dial your fingertips back towards your knee. Take a deep breath in here. Set your gaze right now. That's what we call dristi in yoga. And then your breath, your ujjayi breathing, your prana. And now your bandhas, mula bandha, the space between your sit bones, and uddiyana bandha, the cinching in of your waist, like you were tightening up a seatbelt. When you're ready, we'll bring our knees together and our ankle bones together and sit all the way back on our heels. Reach back for your little pinky toe. Make sure your little toe's down there. And on an inhale, stretch your fingertips out and up. 
reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Touch your palms together and look up at your thumbs. And then exhale, cactus your elbows. Either close your eyes or find your drishti. Breathe in deeply and activate your bandha. So that's your checklist within each pose. Inhale in, mula bandha. Exhale out, Uriana Banda. Inhale, reach your arms back up, bringing your hands back down. Pick up your feet and roll around your ankles, giving it a little tap if that makes sense, or just feeling it out. And then we'll flip just your right palm up. Give your right fingers a little wiggle or make a fist, but do your best to get your whole wrist down. If you're here on your fist, it's not the same. So we want to get the whole wrist. You can soften the elbows and lean in to those areas where you do feel the most resistance. Try not to back off, find some softness. On your next inhale, reach your right arm forward and up. And on an exhale, thread it through right arm down left hand presses down to roll your gaze up stay here or lift your left arm to the sky or left hand palm up on your back for a half bind maybe left leg back and up inhale and exhale On your next inhale, we'll start to transition our way into balancing table. Reach your right arm forward, left leg back. On an exhale, round and curl, navel to spine. Inhale, breathe in as much as you can. Exhale, movement and breath are one. So don't just move to the destination move through the pose to feel every little bit of it last time exhale here place your right hand down spin the right foot off the mat kick your left foot back for modified side plank stay here bend your left knee grab a hold of the foot or ankle squeeze your heel to your butt or kick into your hand for a little back bend. Being mindful to keep pulling your low belly to the spine to protect your back. On your next inhale, we'll lower the left foot down and stretch in the opposite direction with your left hand. Move your hips forward. Don't stick your butt out. On your next Inhale, circle your left arm around. Keep your left foot down with your toes tucked. And on an inhale, three-legged dog. On an exhale, bring your right knee to your belly or maybe knee to nose. Inhale, right leg strokes the sky. Exhale, bring your right knee to tap your right elbow. Stay here for five or fly or slide. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, the right knee to your left elbow. Same thing here. If you fly, fly. Hold or slide wrist to elbow. Inhale, right leg back and up. And exhale, the right foot steps all the way up between your hands, pulling the heart forward, right knee over the ankle. Sweep your arms up for a low crescent lunge. Check in here, squeeze and hug your inner thighs, pull your low belly back to support the spine and lift your heart to the sky.
grounding down with the right big toe and your left knee and shin. Hugging those two points of contact to each other. On your next inhale, circle your arms around, frame your right foot, lift the hips and find a runner's stretch. Press down with the right heel, energetically pulling right heel back and left knee forward. Always focusing on your points of contact and rising up away from them rather than sinking down into the joints. So firm up your right thigh and squeeze your inner thighs together. One more breath here. On your next inhale, bend the right knee, lift the left knee, step it back, high plank. Exhale here, tighten up your front body, push away from the earth so you Feel your body elevating, not sinking down into the joints. Firm your thighs. Draw the sit bones to your heels. Start to shift the weight over your wrists. Elbows wrap back, shoulders down the back, lower halfway, all the way, with or without your knees. Inhale to a lifted cobra pose. Hands press down and pull back towards your hips, energetically pulling your hips up towards your hands. Shoulder blades kiss and draw down towards the waist. Plugging all 10 fingertips into your mat. On your next inhale, lift your belly and your hips. Bring your toes together and sit back into child's pose also known as your resting pose. Take a deep breath in here together. Open up your mouth and say, <sighs> and on your next inhale, lift back up all fours. Make sure you check in with yourself. Flip your left palm up. Give your fingers a little wiggle, make a fist, or find softness, find something for you to be able to lean in to these tense areas. Smile, make sure your face is nice and light. Make sure you're not pressing your lips together when things do get tense. On your next inhale, reach your left arm forward and up. And on an exhale, thread it through, bringing your left ear down. And then from here, just move into the pose the way you did on the other side. If you gazed up towards the sky, do that. If you lifted your right arm or went for a half bind, do that. If you lifted your right leg, do that. We'll start to transition with an inhale, bringing the right hand down, meeting in balancing table. Exhale, rounding curl, knee and elbow come into the midline and possibly even cross paths. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Left hand down, left foot spins off the mat, modified side plank, right arm up, right leg straight and strong. Bend right knee if you did it on the other side, heel to butt or kick into your hand, finding a back bend with the support of your low belly pulling back. Releasing the right foot, anchoring the pinky side of the toe 
and reaching in the opposite direction of your, your right foot with your right hand. Push your hips forward, move your shoulders back. Inhale, we'll circle your right arm all the way around, keeping your right toes down. Inhale to a three-legged dog. Exhale, rounding curl, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, the knee comes in and over to your left elbow. Fly, hold, or slide to the wrist and up. Wrist, elbow, or maybe armpit. Inhale, left leg lifts. And exhale, the left knee to your right elbow. Hover, hold slide or fly. Inhale back and up. And exhale, step the left foot all the way up between your hands. Make sure your left knee is over the ankle. Sweep the arms out and up your Anjane Asana. Rising up and out of your low back with your inhale. Maintaining that length as you exhale, tighten up the front body. Squeeze your inner thighs. Relax your face. And more importantly, find your inner smile. Inhale, we'll circle your arms around, framing your left foot. Lift the hips, send the hips back and up half split pose left toes up left heel down left knee pulls up left quad is engaged one more breath here On your next inhale, oh, that feels so good. Tuck your toes, lift the knee, and step your right foot up to meet your left. Bend your knees and slowly just roll yourself all the way up to standing. Take a moment here with your eyes closed. Peel away all 10 toes and very slowly place your toes down from pinky toe to the big toe. Trying to create space between all ten. And then take a gaze down and see how you did. On your next inhale, sweep your arms out and up, opening up to this beautiful day. On an exhale, lean back, find a little back bend here. Inhale, bring your gaze back forward, open up your arms, dive into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, back nice and long, neutral, navel to spine, heart pulls forward as the hips move back. Exhale, rounding curl, move your sit bones up towards the sky, try to straighten your legs the best you can chin to chest. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This one's a little longer. The exhales lengthen. The exhale. Draw your belly in. Pause at the bottom. Hollow and scoop your belly. Last one. Inhale. And exhale, nice and slow, elongate the exhalation all the way to empty. On your next inhale, place your hands down, step, jump, or float back, 
to a low push up your chaturanga with or without your knees or you can go right to your belly inhale to a lifted cobra or any cobra of your choice on an exhale start to lift your hips tuck your toes find your way back into downward facing dog Take a peek up at your hands. Make sure the fingers are spread wide. You're rooting down with the index finger, knuckles, and thumbs. Look back at your feet. Make sure they're hip bone distance apart. If you're rounded in your spine, bend your knees a little more. On an inhale, lift your right leg back and up. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Looking over your left shoulder to see if you can see your right foot. Inhale, lift the right leg and the left heel. And on an exhale, step your right foot as close to your right thumb as you can. Turn your left heel to 45 degrees. Find warrior one pose. So in warrior one, your feet do not cross paths. Your right big toe is the driver to drive the outer right hip back. And then pressing back into the left pinky toe side of your foot, inner spiral your left thigh. Inhale. Exhale, cactus your elbows. Inhale, interlace your fingers. Bring your right thumb on top. Press your palms together and look up. On an exhale, humble warrior. Rounding to the inside of your right knee, shin, or ankle. Keep moving your outer right hip back. We tend to stick the right hip out here. Try to pull it back. See if you can tuck your chin to your chest and gaze all the way up at your belly. On an inhale, the left hand will come down for an awkward twist. Right arm reaches up, arms are at six and 12. On your next inhale, you're gonna pivot all 10 toes to the right and reach with your right arm all the way to the front of your mat, bicep by your ear. Keep lifting your hips. From here, lift up out of the hips, move it over to the left, find a runner's stretch. Lowering your left hip to the left heel the best you can. Keep that left heel grounded if it's lifted, place a block underneath or lift up until the heel is down. Find your expression in these poses and then try to focus on your breath. Take that time to slow it down and smooth it out. On your next inhale, we're going to lift up and find a warrior two pose so in warrior two your front foot lines up with your back arch look down at the inside of the right knee make sure you can see your right big toe if not aim your right knee over the second toe flip your right palm reach forward and exhale exalt peaceful warrior Try to lift up and out of the low back by grounding in with your right heel. Slide the left hand down the leg or bring it in front or behind the body. Inhale, bring it up, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel your arms over to frame your right foot and find revolving half moon. Left leg lifts, right arm lifts left foot is flexed and both legs are straight and strong lowering your
your right hand to the back of your right ankle for a standing split here. If you have a handstand practice, feel free to find some float ups. On your next inhale, release the hands back down. Look forward and up. Take the left foot, step it next to your right, softening both knees. Bending the knees, lifting all 10 toes, rise up, find chair. Inhale here. On an exhale, eagle, wrap your right elbow underneath your left. Press your left toes down. Lift up your right knee. Cross your right knee over your left, your Ganyarasana. Lift the uh, elbows off the chest. Squeeze your thighs. If you can hook the right foot behind your left leg, great. If not, don't worry about it. Start to hinge forward from your hips bringing your elbows towards your knees and your fingers towards the earth. On your next inhale, extend your right foot back, find warrior three pose. Open up, spread your wings. Soften your left knee. Step your right foot back. Find warrior two to just straighten out the left leg, turning all 10 toes in slightly, rooting into the outer edges of your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. And on an exhale with a flat back, come halfway down and pause. Imagine squeezing a beach ball between your inner thighs here. Drift your gaze towards your fingers. Lift your navel to your spine. Start to lower your hands all the way down, tenting all 10 fingertips. Send your hips back like a wide leg down dog. On an inhale, sweep the right arm up, opening up the torso. Just hold it here, breathing into the left side. On an exhale, thread it through. Grab your left foot or ankle or leg, whatever you can grab. Try to bring your right elbow towards the earth and your right hip to the sky. Stay there, lift the left arm to the sky or a half bind. Or maybe the left hand threads through to grab your right foot, ankle or leg. Breathe into what you're feeling. We're going to slowly start to unwind. Tent all 10 fingertips back out. Take a big breath in here. Open up your mouth and say, ah. Inhale, tent your right fingertips. Reach your left arm out and up. And then exhale, thread it through. Grab your right foot or ankle. Stay there with your right hand or go wherever you went on the other side. And then we'll gently begin to unwind. Bend your knees right and left a few times. And then we're going to bring it all the way back around to a left side lunge. Right hand down, left fingertips tent, side plank pose. Your left foot steps back. You can keep your left hand down on the mat for support and a really good stretch in the back body or float the left hand off the mat. Draw your tailbone towards your heels, navel to the spine, your heart to the sky. One more. 
more breath here. Circle your left arm around. Bring your left hand to the mat. Tense your right fingertips and lift your left leg up. Stay here for five or stretch with your right hand forward. Four, three, two, and one. Lower high plank pose. Inhale, shifting the weight over the wrist. Exhale, lower halfway with or without your knees or go right down to the floor. Tops of the feet come down. Inhale, cobra. On an exhale, lift your hips. Find your way back into an active rest, downward facing dog, or a more passive rest, child's pose. We'll take five breaths here. So if you have a practice where you do headstands, handstands, or even forearm stands, feel free to practice here. You have two more breaths. So if your legs are up in the air, lower back down, meet in downward facing dog, and together take a deep breath in. Open up your mouth and say, ah. Awesome. On an inhale, sweep your right leg back and up, bend the knee, open up your hip. Look up and over your right shoulder, see if you can see your left foot. Roll around the ankle. Inhale the left leg back up to the sky. And then exhale your left foot to your left thumb. Turn your right heel 45 degrees. Sweep the arms all the way up. Try your best to square your hips off to the front of your mat. Make sure you're pushing back into the outer edge of that right foot, not sinking into the inner arch, getting pressure on that right knee. So nice and strong, spiral the right hip forward. Inhale here. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, interlace, left thumb on top this time. Palms press, gaze lift. Exhale, humble warrior. Round your spine, lift your arms away from your tailbone. Bring your left ear to the inside of the left knee, shin, ankle. One day, right down to the floor. On your next inhale, gaze at the left foot. Right hand to the inside of the left foot, left hand to the sky, upward twist. Make sure your back leg is still nice and active. We're going to pivot all 10 toes to the left and reach your left bicep by your ear. Nice and strong in that right hand, pushing away. On your next inhale, lift up the hips, pivot your toes. Runner stretch, bend your right knee, float your left toes up. Use this opportunity to slow down and smooth out your breath. Exhale all the way to empty to make room for new. One more breath here. On your next inhale, we're going to lift ourselves up and come to warrior two on the left. Check in with your alignment. The front left foot lines up with the back right arch. 
Arms stretched out nice and strong. Flip your left palm, reach forward and exhale, exalt. Putting a little more awareness in the outer edges of your feet as you ground into your left heel, reach with your left hand in the opposite direction. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you water wheel your arms back down, finding your way into revolving half moon. Right hand moves out 12 inches in front of left big toe, left arm lifts, both legs straight and strong. On your next inhale, left hand finds its way behind the left ankle and the right leg kicks up for your standing split. Or maybe some hop ups into your handstand. One more breath. On an inhale, halfway lift, soften both knees. Slowly stepping right foot next to your left. Bend your knees, lift all 10 toes, spine chair. Inhale. Exhale, sink deeper, move your hips back. Knees line up with your ankles. Inhale here. Exhale, eagle wrap your left elbow underneath your right. All 10 toes press down as you rise up, lift your left knee. Cross your left knee over your right, using your left toes to help you balance or left toes facing down or hooked behind the right leg. Gently guiding your knees to the left, lifting your elbows away from your chest. Start to hinge forward from your hips. Elbows towards your knees. Fingertips towards the earth. On an inhale, kick your left leg back for warrior three. Open up, spread your wings. Soften your right knee, step left foot back, find warrior two for a brief pause. Straighten the right leg, turn your right toes in. Take a deep breath in here. We'll turn our heels in and our toes out, finding our goddess pose. Reach your arms out and up, getting long through the side of the waist. Tailbone down, belly back, heart lifts. Sink a little deeper. Float your heels up for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lowering the heels, bring your hands down to the floor. Taking your right hand to the inside of the right foot and your left hand to the sky. Stay there, go for a half bind or a full bind. Stay there, take your right hand behind your right foot and your left hand will grab a hold of your right foot, squeezing the arm here or kick in to the hand, keeping the bent knee on the left side. Slowly bringing it back to center, taking your left hand to the inside of the left foot reaching your right arm up half bind full bind or grab a hold of that left foot squeeze the 
arm with your leg keep that right knee bent and start to kick in to your right hand with your left foot embrace the shake embrace a little uncomfortability slowly lowering the feet down pause here and then turn your heels out toes in Ooh, rock it side to side a few times and then this time yogi's choice walk your hands out or through your two legs or find a headstand or any other inversion you like to play with use these moments to slow down your breath and connect Feeling the heart beating, bringing your awareness there. Maybe feel your legs shaking, bring your awareness there. And when you're ready, if your legs are up in the air, start to take them down. We'll bend the knees right and left a few times. And then we'll bring it back around to a right side lunge. Left hand flat, right fingertips tent to your side plank pose. You can leave these hand, that right hand there or stretch with your right bicep by your ear. Tailbone towards your heels, navel to spine, heart to the sky. Meet me back in a high plank pose. Tent your left fingertips, lift your right leg. Stay there, float your left hand up, hold for five, four, three, two and one lower both hand and foot take a deep breath in high plank shift the weight low push up inhale cobra exhale downward facing dog for just a brief moment inhale back high plank exhale to your belly Ah, take a deep breath in. Open up your mouth and say, ah. Bend your knees. Reach back for your right foot and your left foot. Take a breath in. Press into your hands. And lift your feet up. We'll hold for five. One. Two. three, four, and five. Lowering all the way down. Take a breath here. Inhale, peel the chest away from the mat, cobra pose. Exhale, lift the hips, child pose. Deep breath in. Open up your mouth and say, <sighs> Your body receives those sighs of joy and relief. Slowly come up all fours and then into pigeon pose. Right knee to your right ankle right knee to your right wrist right ankle lines up with your left wrist left foot lines up with your outer left hip 
come to your elbows or stretch your fingertips all the way out in front of you or walk your hands over to the left corner of your mat and then surrender the arms are relaxed your head neck and shoulders are relaxed the hips the legs and the feet everything's relaxed Breathe in very slowly, feeling your breath travel from the base of your spine all the way up to the back of your shoulders, feeling your spine elongate and lift to the sky. This is usually when I walk around class and give a little attention and little massages on people's back and their legs. So if you want to hit the pause button and stay and linger here a little longer, feel free. But if you're ready, we're going to make our way up to reach back for the left foot or ankle for a quad stretch. Look back, make sure your left knee and thigh are still facing down that the leg didn't turn out to the left. If that happened, use your hand, lift your hips up and your hips will melt in time. On your next inhale, tuck your back toes, sweep your right leg back and up through like a dog, stacking the hip and the knee stay there or flip your dog. The right foot lands nice and light behind the left leg. Spin your heart to the sky. On an inhale, you'll circle your right arm around, pivoting on your left toes to the left and kicking your right foot out to the left, hovering or lower it down or let your left hand go ahead and grab it, swinging it around to the front of your mat. meeting back in a high plank and you can always skip these vinyasas but they really do help to clean the slate go ahead lower to your knees pigeon pose from there left knee left wrist Left ankle lines up with the right wrist. On your elbows, arms, whatever you did on the other side. Most importantly, breathe. So again, you can stay longer or you can start to lift yourself up for your quad stretch. Reach back with your right hand and grab a hold of that right foot or ankle. 
Try to push away with that left hand. Don't sink down into the wrist joint or even the hip joint. One more breath here. Releasing the foot, tucking your toes and lifting back and up to three-legged dog. Bending the knee, stacking the hip or flipping your dog where the left foot lands as lightly as you can behind the right leg. Finding your back bend. And your inhale will circle your left arm around, pivoting your right toes to the right and kicking your left leg to the right. Or go ahead, right hand grabs a hold of your left foot and swings the left foot around to the front. Slowly meeting back in a high plank. Last vinyasa. Meeting back and down dog. Open up your hands a little wider. Step the feet a little closer. Bend your knees. Look forward and jump step or float straight through to a boat pose. Reach arms forward, hold it here for five. Four, lift the chest, use your hands for support if you need them. Three, two, squeeze the legs together as if they're one. Start to flex your feet, lift your arms, keep your torso lifted and as slowly as you can, hover the heels above the earth for five. Ooh, four, three, embrace that shake, two, and one, and then exhale as you fold all the way over, forward fold. If you need a strap around your feet, use that, but take the shoulders away from your ears. On your next inhale, roll yourself up. Roll yourself all the way down to your backs. And take a moment here in a Shavasana. Hmm. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. <sighs> Inhale, reach your arms over your head, zip the legs together and firm up your quads. On an exhale, bring your knees in, bring your head up, wrap your arms around your legs to grab your hands, your wrists, your elbows, or something in between. Lower your head down and rock it side to side. Point and flex your feet. Roll around your ankles. And then take one hand on each knee and circle the knees around. And reverse it. Setting ourselves up for bridge pose. Feet are hip bone distance apart, hands alongside the body, palms pressed down. Take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, start to peel your spine off the mat. One vertebra at a time, all the way up to the shoulders. Option to keep your hands here. Interlace the fingers, tucking the arm bones under the body. Lifting the chin away from your chest. Ground down into the inner foot and squeeze in. Stay there, reach your arms up and over your head, palms face skyward. 
final option, final few breaths would be your full wheel, hands behind your head, face fingers facing your toes. Inhale to rise. There you are. Well, it's not you. Stay here on an inhale. Lift your right leg up. Lower your right foot. And inhale. Lift your left. Stay here. One more breath. Lower all the way down on an inhale. Bringing the feet up and the arms up to the sky. Roll around your ankles. Ah. Roll around your wrists. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Doing it outside has its benefits, that's for sure. Also has little buggies. So dead bug pose is pretty suiting for what's going on right now. Happy baby pose. Bring your hands to your inner arches. Keep your tailbone glued to the mat. As you draw your knees towards the side body and close to the earth, push up into the hands at the same time. Stay here, kick into your hands, straightening out your legs the best you can. But if straightening out your legs had your tailbone lift, try to keep your tailbone down. your next inhale lift your legs to the sky cross your right knee over your left pause for a brief moment and then place your left foot down scoot your hips to the right open your arms wide like a T and lower your knees over to the left your final twisting pose. <laughs> One more breath over here. your next inhale bring your knees back up uncross the legs and scoot your hips center cross your left knee over your right and interlace your fingers around your knee rock it side to side a few times and then open up your arms wide like a T place your right foot down and scoot your hips to the left and then lower your knees over to the right. One more deep breath in. Slowly make your way back to center. Uncross your legs, center your hips. Separate your feet for just a brief pause, allowing the low back to decompress. Bring your feet together, bring your knees in and 
give yourself one more final big hug. Lower your head down, relax the arms by your side, palms face up. Kiss the soles of your feet together, your bound angel pose. Lower your feet down between your legs. Let your knees gravitate apart from each other. Ah! The bugs. Hmm. It's a beautiful thing. I like to end in this pose because it creates balance throughout our practice in case we worked a little harder on one side than the other. Stay here for the duration of your practice or start to send your feet out to each corners of your mat. Thank you so much for tuning in playing with me. Namaste, everybody.